Hello everyone. This is the one of the video of Palo Alto Firewall troubleshooting series. In this video, we are going to configure Takax Plus for Palo Alto Firewall and we will do a troubleshooting if it is required. This is the topology which we are going to use for the configuration. So we can see here we have three data interfaces and one management interface. L data interfaces are LAN, DMG and Internet. Management interface is connected further to Cisco ICE node and ICE node is further connected to Microsoft AD. Now if firewall admin want to log in into firewall, he will key in his credential. Then firewall further will send request to ICE node and from ICE node request will go to Microsoft AD. Once the response comes back from Microsoft AD, I sends the authentication and authorization response back to firewall and administrator is successfully able to log in. So we will do now the Takax authentication configuration step by step. So there are three simple steps that we will follow to configure Takax plus authentication in Palo Alto firewall. The first one is server profile. Second one is authentication profile and third one is calling that authentication profile in management interface. So let's begin. Once you are in device tab, scroll down on the left pane, go to server profile and under server profile select TechX Plus, click on add and provide some friendly name. Then based on your uh, authentication configured in ICE, you can select PAP or CHAP. I will select PAP. And then provide in this section name, IP address and then secret key. Provide the IP address of the server. and the secret key which will be provided by the ICE which is configured, which is configured in, the ICE. in the ICE by default it will take port 49 just click OK once you click now we have completed the first step server profile for TACAX we can see here on the right panel in second step we configure authentication profile to do that just scroll up and select authentication profile from the left pane click add and just give some friendly name Select the authentication type. In our case, it's a TACAX Plus. Then now call that server profile which you have just now configured. And on advanced tab, select all. Click on add and select all. We have completed successfully the step two where we have configured authentication profile. Let's move towards uh, step three. But before going towards the step 3, we can see here our server profile as well as our authentication profile on the screen. Let's go to setup and under the go to click and choose the authentication profile and click OK. Now we have called authentication profile into management interface and have completed the step number three. 
we have completed all three steps for Takax Plus authentication. Now let's test our configuration using Palo Alto GUI and CLI. My Takax authentication is working and I'm able to log in into the Palo Alto firewall using GUI. If you see, I'm using complete AD credential with domain name. This is working in GUI, but same is not working in CLI. That's a problem here and we need to fix that. So let's troubleshoot that issue. So upon doing analysis, uh, we discovered that there is a bug in panOS 10.0.7 in that it doesn't allow you at the rate character in the CLI. So to fix that, we have to do some settings in authentication profile. So let's do that setting and to fix the problem. So now the problem statement is that you are not able to log in into Palo Alto CLI using your complete AD account. To solve this problem, we will provide user domain information under the authentication profile. So let me explain you how it is works. Let's assume my username is rajesh at the rate ibm.com. Post doing this setting, when I type Rajesh only in the username field, the firewall will append at the rate ibm.com in the request and send it to ICE. So this way, successful authentication occurs and at the rate character problem in the Palo Alto CI get fixed. We have reached at end of the video. We know how to configure Takax Plus authentication and solve at the rate character problem for the Palo Alto firewall. Thank you for your time and wish you a great learning ahead.